mangroves. They are usually viewed as a place filled with mud and mosquitoes, but they play a much bigger role than that. Mangroves are one of the most biodiverse ecosystems on Earth. Here, at the Karani Swamp, they are responsible for providing a safe haven for many animals and for safeguarding the well-being of us humans. Mangroves are coastal, which means the water level fluctuates with the rise and fall of the tide. And these prop roots of the red mangrove trap and hold mud, which becomes the main resource for many animals throughout the swamp. Most obvious of which is the fiddler crab. Males like being seen. The oversized claw is not used for feeding, but for warding off other males and to attract a female. By doing this little dance, Many animals follow a migration pattern, leaving their home countries or environment to seek better resources for feeding or for breeding. And the Karani Swamp has all the resources for one such visitor. Pink flamingos. Every year they would visit from our neighboring country, Venezuela. But within recent years, they have developed a breeding population and has now made Karani Swamp their home. Of all the animals that reside within the Karani Swamp, there are no others that stand out like our national bird, the Scarlet Ibis. These birds get their brilliant scarlet color from the food they eat, such as fiddler crab and other crustaceans, and can live to up to 25 years in the wild. Many years ago, these birds were hunted for their meat and feathers. But as of recent years, they are protected, and the increase in their numbers is a telltale sign that the system is working. We must continue to play our part in reducing the contamination of our waterways and implementing laws not only to protect the skeletitis, but the mangroves themselves. <laughs> Oh, my God, I am the mother of